Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to Niagara University. It's a historic day and a wonderful day on our campus as we're excited to announce that Greg Paulus is the head coach of our men's basketball program. I'll let Greg introduce his family. I know they were so thrilled that they've been able to join him. One thing that I did want to say is we will have an official welcome and introduction for Greg and his family to the Niagara University community at a later date details to be announced, but we wanted to make sure that we had uh, this announced today and that we had this opportunity for the media to come out and meet Greg because as we go into this season, 1920 season, uh, our, our program, our university, our student athletes are all aligned mm -hmm. under the leadership of Greg Paulus and ready to take the next step in Niagara basketball. I'd entertain any questions and of course I'll stay after for any one-on-ones if there's any at this time. Okay, well let's introduce our head coach, Greg Paulus. Thank you, Simon. Nice. Appreciate it. I'd just like to start by saying uh, that it's a privilege and an honor to be named the head coach and uh, just really grateful uh, for the opportunity to represent Niagara, the athletic department, uh, the university, the campus, and um, it, it means a great deal to my family and I. And uh, we're looking forward to working with our student athletes and, and working really hard to make a program with such rich tradition uh, really proud. Has anybody ever prepared for their head coaching job, or how did you, you know, what do you make of how you ascended? Well, I, I think it's, um, you know, it's sliding, sliding that one seat over, I think for me it's just a matter of uh, using the experiences I've been through as, as a student athlete myself and um, the last 10 years of coaching and uh, trying to, at different points, pick different spots uh, when those are necessary and needed. And, um, but, but I think having those experiences, uh, learning under some terrific mentors and coaches and um, being able to have some opportunities uh, at all levels is something that uh, we will lean back on and, and uh, help us throughout this journey. Did you, did you talk to a David Padgett when you took over? You were in a similar, similar situation when you were an assistant at Louisville. And I saw you kind of mention, you mentioned that up there that you obviously have some experience taking over a program like this. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I think that experience at Louisville will be beneficial, um, as, as I think the other ones will be as well. But uh, David and I are good friends. Uh, we talk all the time. So um, he, he watches games. Uh, no matter where I've been, he's been supportive and, and been a great friend. But certainly learned a great deal with him uh, in, in being a part of his journey at Louisville. And, uh, but, but him and I talk all the time. Now that you are officially the head coach, what else do you have to do to you know, continue to build, bring stability to the program besides play your games? Well, I, I think that uh, with the timing, that's, that's the uh, first thing on the agenda right now. It's, uh, you know, we play tomorrow, we play Sunday, and we play again a few days after that. So uh, with it being a quick turnaround, I think it's important for us to just understand where we are. And, and um, for us, it's, it's trying to create an identity, trying to create a foundation, um, working together uh, so we can build our program moving forward. How much does it help that you play the role in recruiting this team so it's not as if you're walking in blind well, I think the relationships with the student athletes are, it's one of the reasons I coach. Um, I've been fortunate to have such great mentors that are, have now become friends. Uh, it's one of the reasons I wanted to coach, is to have that type of impact. So uh, for me, uh, every stop that I've been, every experience I've been, it's, it's been about the team, it's been about the players, it's been about the program, and uh, it was no different here. I wanted to come in, build strong relationships with our student athletes away from the court, and um, you know that's something that uh, we will continue to do. Our, my staff will continue to do. Our program will continue to be built on uh, relationships. It's been a bit of a coaching nomad the last couple of years. You know, Louisville, one year at George Washington. Is it a relief, or, a, or do you have a sense of stability now? I guess. Well, I, I'm excited about this opportunity, and and uh, this is a special university. Um, from the academic side to um, the mission, the values, um, what, what this university stands for. Um, you know, I, I believe it aligns with, uh, you know, what I believe. And, uh, you know, I think just the opportunity to be here um, is, is really special. Do you hear Coach, K, Coach K's voice? Maybe in one of your ears? It's in All the time. <laughs> I, I uh, use the experience of, of playing for, for Coach K and Duke. Um, you know, that, that's been my foundation in coaching. And uh, to me, there's, there's no better person to learn from, uh, from all aspects of the program. Um, and so for me, it's uh, remembering what it was like as a player, the communication, the leadership, all the different aspects of the program. So um, 
constantly communicating with him as well. I've spoken to him a few times um, over the last few weeks, and so he's been unbelievably supportive, like he always has been. And uh, I will continue to lean on him as well as others throughout this journey. Of all the coaches you've played for or worked with throughout your life, is there any one characteristic that maybe stands out more than any that you want to kind of implement with your team? There are, I think. The, uh, oh, I think the most important thing uh, in leadership is to be yourself. Um, and, and that's something that I will do. Um, I, I, you know, whether it's uh, Coach K or Coach Mata or a couple of the other different stops, um, you know, I, I've tried to take things that I've learned from there and, and implement them into uh, what I believe and uh, how I would do things. And, uh, but I think the most important thing when uh, leading a group uh, or a team, bringing people together, is, is you have to be yourself. Well, I, the, the tradition um, here at Niagara, you walk into that gym and, and you go back decades and uh, the success, the retired jerseys, um, growing up here in, in upstate New York, hearing the stories of, of upset wins and big wins and, and moments. Um, and we certainly would like to do that uh, in terms of trying to build that. We, we uh, first need to create the foundation, uh, but in terms of our program, we want to engage uh, the student body on campus. We want to engage the alumni. Um, you know, I've had a chance to meet some of them, speak to some of them, and we will continue to reach out uh, over the course of time. But uh, we want it to be a family atmosphere. As you can tell, my family's here, my son's in the background, uh, my wife's here, um, some family is here. So for us, that's, that's the type of uh, atmosphere we want to have for uh, our coaching staffs, for our, our players, uh, and all that, that come in contact with our players. What have some of those conversations been like with you? Uh, been supportive. Been supportive. We've in, we've invited some back uh, that we've we've had. Uh, we're going to see some more here on the road. Uh, we'll continue to reach out to them, but um, we we want to welcome everybody back with open arms. And uh, uh, this program, with the tradition, is built because of what they've done before us. And uh, teaching our players that we're a part of something bigger than ourselves, uh, including myself and our coaching staff. We're all in it together, and uh, we're thankful that for the hard work for them, uh, building such a rich tradition and um, laying the foundation for us moving forward. Well, maybe the most comfortable thing and maybe the most for you just to be on the bench of your first game, given how world winish this these past two weeks have been. Like, can you look ahead to what that experience is going to be like tomorrow in Drexel? I, I haven't thought about that. Um, was asked that question in terms of the exhibition game and uh, different practices. And for me, it, it's been about our players. Uh, how can we continue to move forward? How can we continue to grow individually and, and collectively? And so for me, it's, it's about how can we put them in the best position? How can we continue to develop them on and off the floor? And um, it, it, it's not about me. It's, it's about our program and them. You have one open coach, assistant coaching position. Are you going to fill that? And if so, what, what might you be looking for? Uh, we're going to work through the process on that. Um, and, and as time goes on, hopefully we can uh, have a little bit better picture of what we'll do with that. Will you retain the current staff as well? The, the staff is, uh, yes. All, all are uh, present and working and, and uh, we are all, you know, I don't know what the right term is of that, but yes. Anybody need anything else? Thank you guys for coming out. Really appreciate it.